please excuse me if I uh, sound a little bit chesty, a little bit nasal. I am slightly under the weather, but nothing is stopping me from uh, making these lovely necklaces with you today. So we're going to be doing some really easy bead stringing, but we're going to make it so that they kind of loop around and make this lovely, very simple, but very comfortable to wear design. So we're gonna be using the most beautiful speckled beads. I love the color of these. And I'm gonna be mixing them. So we're gonna get two different sizes. I'm gonna be using the six millimeter and the eight millimeter in two different colors. So I'm gonna get this graduated look. And I don't know whether today to keep it as one side, one color, or to maybe mix it a little bit. So do the smaller and then swapping them over. I think I'll just have a little play and just see what the mood takes me. So drop me a comment. Where are you watching from? How are you? Are you feeling well? Have you been doing anything nice? What is the weather like, of course, where you are in the world? Today is a little overcast. Um, it feels warm, but then that just might be me. <laughs> um, yeah, so not not the glorious summer that we were having but um, hopefully it's got a little bit cooler for those of you that were struggling with the heat so i'm going to say a quick hello to everybody who's here so pop me a note in the comments whether you're watching on youtube or you're watching on facebook good morning to brenda she says good morning how are you today i think i've answered that brenda i'm okay i'm trooping on uh, good morning to joy she says good morning lucy says good morning lovely natalie well hello lovely lucy hello to francis she says good morning everyone from a beautiful sunny perth oh well that's nice francis good morning to mina she says it's cloudy in leicester good morning to celia she says morning natalie from a sunny linen hope you are all well so let everybody know um in the comments how are you today because i always say how are you and then I don't check how are you are you all right good morning to Anne she says good morning Natalie and everybody from rainy Yorkshire um morning to the creative bead and ears says Sharon so I will share that one on the screen good morning to you Sharon um hello to Stacy she says um hello from Island Marada in Florida USA it's a beautiful morning and it's 5 a.m there so thank you for being up with us so early Stacey thank you for joining us today hello to Heidi she says uh, hi everyone a bit of both cloudy but blue sky and sunny it's a bit of everything where you are then Heidi good morning to Trish um Joy says she's on YouTube and uh, I think she thinks my necklace is beautiful. Thank you. We're going to be making them today, Joy. Really straightforward, just bead stringing. But I think sometimes when you can use a simple method like bead stringing and you can just kind of change up the design a little bit rather than just having uh, one or two kind of layers to your necklace, I put this little twist in it and I just think just makes it a little bit different. It's really comfortable to wear. I do keep playing with it, but wait till you see the colors of these speckle beads. And of course, we've got a fantastic offer on for you today. Good morning to Kath, that's my mummy. Hi, mummy. She says, morning, Natalie and everyone. Hello to Helen. She says, good morning, Natalie. I'm watching you in the garden, having breakfast in the warm sunshine. Helen, how wonderful. What a great way to start the day. What are you eating? Uh, good morning to Joy again. Um, she says, Monday, all well at hospital. I'm glad everything's okay for you. Good morning to Pauline. She says, good morning from sunny Kent. Pauline, as the weather cooled down a little bit for you there, because I know it was unbearably hot. So hopefully it's sunny, but a bit cooler. Good morning to Kelly. She says, um, Australia, Victoria is where she's watching from. Um, she's watching from the International Beadwork. Oh, hello to you all. Uh, good morning to Angela. She says, good morning, Natalie. Having a restful day today. Um, this retirement lark is kicking in. That sounds amazing too. Just take each day as it comes. Isn't it nice not to be having to watch your, watch your watch and look at the clock and see what time you need to be places. Just, just enjoy the moment. Good morning to Brenda. She says she's in the middle of moving things into her new apartment. Hope that goes really well for you, Brenda. Good morning to Judith. Um, good morning to Nicole. She says, hi, Natalie. Weather is quite hot here in Oregon. We've been in a heat wave all week, so I'm happy next week will be a little bit cooler. Helen is having some Weetabix for breakfast. And Lucy's asking, how was it Friday again? I don't know. Talking about watching your watch and looking at the clock, it just 
the days just roll by, don't they? Pauline says it is a little bit cooler in Kent, but starting to warm up again. And hello to our lovely Ruth. How are you doing? Right, I'm going to take you over to the website. Um, hopefully my voice will continue to keep going with us. Wait till you see these beads. I absolutely love them. Do I give you a little sneaky flash on the desk? Well, you can see what I'm wearing. They're just so pretty. The colours are so lovely. Right, I'm going over to the website. So if you are new to us, or maybe you've forgotten where to find us, we are on totallybeads.co.uk. So scroll into the video tutorial category at the top or into the category section over this side and click into video tutorials. These have been named. Anne has come up with these names, I'm assuming, and I just, I love the names of these. So we are the Summer Speckle because they are and bright and beautiful. Look at them. So each of your kits today, it contains everything you need to make one of these beautiful necklaces. You're going to get four strands of these in each kit. They are £5.99. pence. However, We've got a fantastic buy two for 10 on today. So you can choose from Blue Lagoon, Cosmopolitan, Margarita, or Water. Now, if that doesn't get, get you feeling summery, you don't know what will. So let's have a little look in Blue Lagoon. Let's have a look at the gorgeous blue colorway. So you're getting two colors of these beautiful speckled beads. And I'm gonna show you the beads on the table close up because they're gorgeous. They glass. They've got this gorgeous coating. It reminds me of, you know, when you were little um, and you did paint with, and you blew it with a straw and it got that lovely kind of bubbly look. That's what these remind me of. They're so pretty. So you're getting all of your strands in the kit. So you're gonna get your six and your eight millimeter in two of those colors. You're gonna get your tiger tail. I'm using two lengths of about 60 centimeters of the tiger tail for this necklace. You're also going to get one of your lobster clasps, which is 10 millimeter. You're getting two jump rings, the six millimeter jump rings, four clots and four crimp beads so we can double crimp them. And that is all you need to make this lovely, lovely necklace. If you'd like to know exactly what the colours are of the speckled beads, if you think I could do with a lot more of those in my stash, then have a little scroll down and so we've got the blue and the apple white on this colorway so i've tried to contrast you could do it all in one color so if you had i don't know the two sizes uh two strings of those two sizes your six and your eight in the aqua white you could do the whole thing in aqua white you could do it all in a pink whatever it is you want to do but i do quite like having a slight contrast in these where they twist so that is a beautiful blue loon for you. Two for ten today. So if you can't decide, you might want to get the blue lagoon and the margarita. I think that would look those colours beautiful together as well. Folleton, we have again everything you need in your kit from your tiger tail to your finding and the gorgeous speckle that we are using in this kit are the mauve, which is it's a pinky purple colour, it's mauve, it's beautiful. And we've got these ones as well. Now they are referred to as light blue slash white. But when I show you them on the mat, they are the lightest tinge of blue. They are very much to my eye white. Um, so that's those beautiful cosmopolitan ones for you. Just £5.99 per kit today. And we'll have the margarita which i think i'm going to be demoing with today it's so lovely in that you're getting this gorgeous green color so you're getting the green and the lime green combined to make that beautiful twisted necklace they are very very summery um perfect for the sea it will chase the clouds away everything you need in your kit today five pound 99 with a fantastic buy two for 10 kit this one is the one i'm wearing this is mimosa so it's in the beautiful kind of orangey colors so we've got a copper and a golden yellow which is giving you this beautiful kind of citrusy looking one so i think our camille will like this one because oranges and those tones are very much 
I think her favourite. So again, buy two for £10, only £5.99 today. It's really straightforward. If you are new to jewellery making, then this is perfect for you. If you're looking for a very simple, quick project to make, then this is for you. So let me see what have I missed in the comments. Let me scroll up. Pauline said, good morning, Natalie, and a lovely day here. Hope you're all well. Debbie saying good morning to everybody. And we've got two Debbies in. We've got the all of the names always come in at the same time. I love that. So we've got Debbie Taylor. Hello, Debbie Taylor. And we've got Debbie Wybrow as well, who's saying good morning, Natalie and everyone. Hello to Lucy. She says, I've got these beads. They are lush. And um, if you're looking to find them and add them to your collection like Lucy has, then we're on totallybeads.co.uk forward slash Facebook tutorials forward slash summer speckle necklace. So there's the link for you there. Thank you for that, Lucy. Diane says, morning, Natalie, and all the readers. Sylvia is saying good morning from South Australia. Hello to you. Hey, good morning to Elaine. Hello to Mandy. Hello to Angela. She says she's got lots of these beads from a couple of years ago. She needs to get them out. I've never made with these before. Um, I don't think I've ever made with these before. And I've I thought these some of these colours may be new. I don't know. Have a little look, see which ones you fancy. Uh, Camille says, you know me so well. Joe is here. Hello to Joe. Joe, your stall in the window looked absolutely beautiful. You've displayed that beautiful. You're going to have loads of sales. And good morning to Sue. She says, good morning, Natalie and everyone. Cloudy here in North Devon. Right, let's get going. Let me take you down. In fact, I'm going to show you them on, show, I'll show you them on the mat. And I'll show you them on my bust because they look very different when you're wearing them. So if you go down to my mat, you will see. Hello. There you go. Oh, my stand is slightly in the way. Can I move that over a little bit? There you go. So you can see we're just making these beautiful one strand, twisting it all the way up, graduating the pearls from the six to the eight, back into the six. And as I say, you can mix these colours if you want to. So maybe you could start off with the six and then go to the different colour when you're doing the eight and do it that way. I might try that and see how that looks. Really straightforward to do. The only thing you need to remember is to make sure once you've put your clot on this one, that you thread this one through before you attach. Otherwise, you're just going to have two separate necklaces. So this is the gorgeous pinkish one. What was that called? Was that the Cosmopolitan? So I'm going to show you those beads up close. Look at them. They are just so pretty. Pauline says she loves the colours that I'm wearing, Natalie. Thank you very much. And Sarah's put, I've ordered these and made some lovely bracelets. I think I still have some of the 8mm left. They are really lovely. And then I've just paired this. Now, this is the one that's called light blue. But to me, they're white. I don't know if there's the tiniest tinge in them, but to me, they look white. But I thought if there is a slight blue colour, why? where am I? There I am. And they look lovely together. So that's the twist. There is a delay in my camera. I don't know if that's showing a delay where you are, but that is already back on my table now. My hands are away and yet they're still showing on the screen. It is slowing down. Hopefully um, it's not taking after me and slowing down a bit this morning. These are the gorgeous blue ones. Look at the colours in them. I just love them. And then this, can I put my green one in on the bust? And I will take these off and show you. And then I'm wearing the um, the kind of orangey gold colourway. So I can take them off and show you them as well, if you like. Um, Lucy says, it's okay. Now it was then when you were looking at the website. So hopefully I'm all back to speed. Yeah, it's not too bad now. Um, Mina says she's had these in the anniversary bundle and loved making the necklaces. So it sounds like a few of you have them already. This is just a quick, easy way to kind of do something with them. Um, but, you know, you're the artist, so you might want to change it up. So what I'm going to do to begin with is I'm going to take one length of my tiger tail 
it's really strong it's lovely and durable i love using tiger tail so easy to use so i've cut two lengths of this at 60 centimeters each and i'm just going to use one you're using quite a long length in 60 centimeters because we're going to bring it back up together to make one side of our twist um so Shields put, could you make as two individual necklaces and then loop them together? You could, yeah, um, I suppose you could. All I've done with them is I'm bringing, if I can just show you with the beads, as I've made one looped like this, the other one comes through them. So once you've connected them at the top, they're going to stay connected through the twist. If you've got two individual ones, like so, it's then, you know, keeping them twisted as you twist them over. So this way that I will show you will do just that. Uh, good morning to Anne from Sunny Perth. Um, so 60 centimetres I'm going to start with. And I am going to pop my bead stopper on around a little bit towards the end just to stop them sliding off. So I'm going to start off with my six millimeter. So any color, I'm going to use all one color. Again, you don't have to. You could, let me take this one again that I've done. You could mix the sizes and the colors all the way through. So you could alternate them if you wanted to, and you can have one kind of big color white. I just like the contrast on them either side. But again, entirely up to you. It's just a very straightforward, simple make. So I'm going to cut my gorgeous beads off my strand. And I'm going to count out 25 of these. All I would say is, you I mean, you can add more to them if you want to. If you want to adjust the length, all you need to do is maybe cut slightly longer on your tiger tail. Um, and add more of the beads on or of course you can make it shorter if you want by adding less beads um, but all you need to do is make sure it's the same on both sides so it will hang evenly so I'm going to count out my beads instead so one two you might need to just break them open some of them will join together a little bit where you've got that paint on it um, it's really easy just kind of give it a little push and it will open up also do excuse my nails today they are a little bit chipped i have been doing some wire work here we go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two 23, 24, 25. So I'm going to start off with 25 of my six millimeter beads. And all I'm going to do is take the end of the tiger tail. That's, I've not got the um, bead stopper on and I'm just threading them on as easy as you like. Oh, good morning to Anita. She is watching in Johannesburg in South Africa. We've got Oh, hello to Vivian from the Netherlands. Hello to Carol. We've got people all over today, which is lovely. We could probably play a game. I think we're stretching that far around the world. You could pop a comment in where you're watching from. So we could have Africa, then we could have, I don't know, Bolton for B, uh, C. Obviously, we'd have to go for Clacton. D, we could have Denmark or wherever. Um, I'll take L, I'll go for Liverpool, which is where I am at the moment. I'm in the northwest of England. So it's lovely to have everybody in watching from all over. Thank you for joining me. I don't know what time it is wherever you are, but we've just got to 20 past 10 in the morning. Um, and you'll see how quick this make is. It's not going to take us long at all. So I've added on my first 25 six millimeter beads and i'm using all of the same color just gonna slide them up a little bit over there right now i'm gonna graduate that to the larger size so i'm gonna use the eight millimeter beads now what i have been doing is i've been using all one color and just going to the different size in the same color i'm wondering whether to swap the tone over and then my twists will be slightly different Shall we try that? Shall we just see how that looks? 
I might decide I preferred it the way it was, but it's, it's the same method either way. So I'm just gonna go and take my eight millimeters now, and I'm gonna use 33 of these ones. So I'm gonna count them out. One, two, three, four, five, I say you might get them stuck together where the paint is just finishing just pop your nail in between them it should I mean you don't need to separate them out either on some of them that one's not working my nails aren't strong enough but you could do it probably do it with this just make sure you don't yeah there you go pop a tweezer in it and just give it a little snap if they're joined together there you go it is very warm. Is it very warm or is it me? Am I getting a temperature? I've been testing, everything's negative. Um, I thought I had allergies, but I seem to have developed a bit of a cough. So, not great. Anyway, how many beads have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and I'm going to add 33 onto this next bit. You can change the amount that you want to, and um, as I say, if you're changing the length, if you want to make it larger, add more. If you want to make it smaller, you can do what you want with it. Um, this is just the way I've worked out the length that I like because I like it sitting on my neckline round about here. Um, but obviously, you want to um, make sure that you've got the same amount on each side so they sit even when they loop together. Um, Yvonne is in Sweden. Lucy says uh, she thinks it's warming up now, but it was freezing this morning. And Camille says it's not that warm yet for me. It's probably not that warm for me either. Just me personally, that's running a little. Um, so I tried to put a bit of makeup on this morning, and every time I end up blowing my nose, it just it just comes off. So I'm probably going to end up starting to look like Rudolph soon. But nothing is keeping me away from the beads. So really straightforward. I'm just holding my tiger tail with one end. Don't need any tools whatsoever other than my fingers to pick up these absolutely beautiful, gorgeous speckled beads. Look at them. A little bit of focus. They're just really pretty. As I say, they remind me of um, like blown paint. And they're such a lovely colour. So once I've threaded those back on, so I've got 25 of my 6 mil. I've got 33 of the 8 miller, mil, millimeter. <laughs> I'm going to add another 25 of the um, 6 millimeter, and I'm going to use the same color. So we have this green rather than the lime green. I've just used the lime green in the middle here. Just going to add 25 of those back on to bring that back up the other side. Twenty, one, two, three, four, five. Should have probably counted them out before we went live. Just don't want you to sit and just watch me counting. So we've got, with that international today, we could probably count in different languages, which would be quite nice. Um, 
I don't really know what I could count in. I could count in German. I could probably count in Spanish. And I could probably do a little bit of French. But whether my pronunciation would uh, be any good, I don't know. Uh, Joe says, it's a lovely design, Natalie. I might have a go and try it with miracle beads. There's a surprise, Joe. Oh, Miss Rainbow. So if any of you are new to us, we've been in the group. We've been friends now for such a long time. Um, we know what people are obsessed with and what people like to do. So we've got the two Lindas who love their wire work. We've got Joanne who loves her wire work too. Um, I'm obsessed with gemstones. Now I think Nina's getting a little bit obsessed with gemstones as well. Joe loves a miracle bead. Camille likes oranges. Lucy loves pinks. Um, I don't think Lucy minds what bead she's using as long as it's pink. Um, oh, uh, Manali is asking, can you show next time fringe tassel earrings, please? I could indeed. We have done some uh, tassel jewellery. In fact, I really wanted to keep it. I spotted somebody reading a magazine on the train. I think it was Hello Magazine or something like that. And on the front of it was, um, is it Meghan Markle? Is that her surname eh? now? She's married, isn't she? I don't know. And she had our tassel earrings on weeks after we did them. And I thought, mm, we're such trendsetters. So um, we have got, I don't know where the link is for you, Manali. If you go on to um, the Totally Beads tutorials, you will see we have done some fringe tassel jewellery. It may have been referred to as the bracelet, but um, that will work the same. We want to do earrings and things with it. You can buy the fringe tassels already made. You can make your own fringe tassels as well. I suppose I could do something with that. I'll probably use some thread, maybe a rat tail, and then I could make your tassels with that too. Um, but I will add that to my list. We could always do another tutorial on that. Lucy says, I like anything pink. Mina says, yes, gemstone and crystal beads she's become obsessed with. Um, Lucy's starting to love the gemstone chips. Uh, our chef cat loves making um, like wire wrap trees with the with the crystal chips as well. Heidi saying she likes anything in purple and she also loves a gemstone. Ah, thank you. See, is this the link for the tassel earrings? So if um, Manali, I hope I'm pronouncing your name properly. If you're looking for um, tutorials, you can click in by kind and that'll take you to all of the earrings that we've done. Thank you very much for that, Lucy. <coughs> Excuse me. I uh, missed. Yeah, she says the link above is for some tassel earrings. Um, right. Okay. So I've got my beads on as I want to do. I've got 25 of the 6 mil. Then I've added on 33 of the 8 mil. And I've done 25 of the 6 mil again. And I've created that loop. And actually, I'm really liking that swapping colours already. So I'm bringing up both of my tiger tail ends. And I'm going to add my collot on. So these will be in your kit as well. There is a little hole at the bottom of it. And I'm putting both ends of my tiger tail through that hole. If it's easier, you can stagger those ends just to get it in. I'm then going to make sure that I've pulled this up. So I want it in the shape that I'm making, as in I want it in that kind of looped part, just to make sure the tension is right. So... I've got that in the position that I want it to be, pulled it through the collot, and I'm just going to take out two of my crimp beads. So you'll get four crimp beads in your pack. I always like to double crimp just to make sure everything is as sturdy as possible. You could use a wire guardian if you wanted to. You could even bring this tiger tail back through some of those first beads just to make it that extra secure if you wish. So I'm going to take one of my crimp beads. I'm going to move them slightly out of the way because I know I'll lose them when I'm doing the next one. And I'm going to pop my crimp bead on both ends of those tiger tails that come through. So there it is over one. There it is over the second one. I'm going to bring that all the way back down to the collot. And I'm just going to pull each one slightly to make sure that my tiger tail is 
close to that crimp bead. Now I'm going to try and lift it up just to show you but I'm sure you know what you're doing with this. So my crimp bead is now sitting inside of my collot. I'm going to crimp it. What that means is I'm just going to push it down with my pliers to flatten it and that is going to hold the tiger tail in place. I'm then going to take another one of my crimp beads and I'm going to do exactly the same. <coughs> Excuse me, I am so sorry. I'll have a little sip of my coffee. So I'm sliding it over both. That is a funny shaped crimp bead. I'm actually going to use a different one. So I'm sliding it over both ends. It's going to sit just on top of the last one that we've put on. I'm trying to get it close so you can see. And I'm just going to come in with my pliers, squish it down. So now those are on nice and secure um oh everybody's writing what they love now linda's asking have i got a cold i have my love yeah feeling a little warm not cold but slightly under the weather um Nali is loving the check beads um kelly's loving the delica beads um pintu is saying hello from new york city hello we are absolutely worldwide international today. Okay, so I'm just trimming off the ends of the tiger tail above those crimp beads. And then I can close that collot over with my fingers to begin with, just making sure that the little kind of eyelets or the holes, come on, give me focus, are lined up with each other. And then I'm just gonna gently give it a little push down with my pliers just to kind of close that over so it looks kind of like a bead itself and those little holes at the top are lined up. So that is the first one. Now we're gonna make the second. So I'm taking another length of 60 centimeters of my tiger tail. I'm gonna move that slightly to the side at the moment. I'm gonna pop my bead stopper on because I don't want it to fall off. Now, last time I used the green ones. This time I'm using the six millimeter, same size to start off with, but I'm using this gorgeous lime green color. So I'm gonna get the contrast with that. I am gonna open up my string with my scissors, not my cutters, because I'm always guilty of blunting my tools. And I'm gonna count out 25 beads again. So. Remember, if they are joined together, you can just push them open like so. I have lost count, so I will recap that. <laughs> My brain's not fully working today. I'm a little bit fuzzy. Let's just pour some out. And let's see how many we've got. If you can't do it with your nails, take your cutters very gently, though. We don't want to damage the bead you can just see how easy oh didn't even have to put any pressure on that it just fell off okay so let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five so i'll move those out the way so I'm going to add 25 of the contrasting colour that I've got in the 6mm. And I'm just going to slide those beads on. Um, Monica says hello to everybody. So as I say, this is a really easy project. It doesn't involve much thinking at all maybe just a little bit of counting to make sure whatever you've done on this side will be the same length on this side. If you're new to jewellery making, it's a perfect project to do. If you've got, I don't know, any new jewellery makers in your life, so you might have some little ones, you might have some friends who are interested in getting involved, 
this would be a nice project to do in the garden. Um, really straightforward and you can you can demo to them how it is done. OK, so I'm now going to graduate up to the eight millimeter again, but I'm going to I've contrasted the colors. So I'm really liking the contrast of the colors. I think this is going to look really nice. So again, I'm opening up my neck string with my scissors, not my cutters. And I'm going to count out 33. is 20 30 33 so picking them up sliding them on couldn't be any simpler Oh, Joy says, a nice one to do with my U3A jewellery group. Good morning to Victoria. She says, good morning and hello, everyone. How are you doing today, Victoria? If you are just joining us, we are on totallybeads.co.uk. We are doing our lovely live video tutorials that we do Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays from 10 a.m. Um, you can catch up if you need to on YouTube or you can watch us back on Facebook or you can go onto the website into the video categories at any time and watch back any of the tutorials that we've done over the last forever. It's been way over two years now. Um, there is all kinds of jewellery making techniques in there with all sorts of different beautiful materials. Today I'm doing a little bit of bead stringing to make these really lovely summer speckled necklaces. So I'm using the gorgeous glass speckled beads in two sizes, the six millimeter and the eight millimeter. And I'm using two gorgeous colors on both of those sizes. So I've got four strands, which will be in my kit today. We've got a fabulous offer on, so you can buy two for 10 pounds. So if you can't decide, or you think actually, I really like that lime green she's using there, but I think that would look really beautiful with the aqua, then you can mix and match your colours how you wish. Okay, so I've added 25 on in the six millimetre, I've used 33 on the eight millimetre, and I'm gonna add another 25 back in this lime green colour. So I'm gonna go quiet again while I count these out. Ten. Twenty. Two. Four. Five. So on with the last lot, just sliding that tiger tail through the hole. I love working with tiger tail. It's a fantastic material for bead stringing. Um, they are, as far as I can recall, lots of um, like nylon, lots of wires coated in a nylon coating. So it makes it really, really strong and durable. So if you're using heavy beads, you can use tiger tail for that as well. These are made of glass, so they're not too heavy. Um, they're really comfortable to wear when you've made these necklaces. I have forgotten I am wearing this one at the moment. So I'm just threading on those last beads. Um, Anna says they are lovely colours of green. 
Lucy shared the link for you again today. This is us right, right now. Heidi says, my daughter is wanting to make some jewelry, but won't still sit still long enough, but she's working on her unicorn badge brownies. So we'll get the miracle beads and see if she makes anything up. Heidi, that's an absolutely lovely idea. Um, my little one is only four, and obviously he watches me um, make jewellery quite regularly. And he asked me... He, He's got a crystal, which I let him pick, um, and he wanted to wire wrap it. So obviously I wasn't giving him any tools, but um, I cut him. It was just some really bendy, soft um, aluminium wire uh, that I had, some craft wire left over. And I said, there you go, have a little go with that. And he sat and played with it. So I think I might teach him because if he starts now, he'll be amazing, won't he, in a couple of years. Right. I have got my next length already made up what i'm going to do i'm going to keep my bead stopper on one end actually just for now in case it falls off i'm going to take one end and i'm going to bring it through this one here so the one that i've already made and pop my collot onto i'm just going to add this next one while it's still open just through there so all i've done is I've laid one on the table and just literally put the other one through the inside and brought that back over. Now I can add the collot to this one as well and do exactly the same as I did previously. I just want to make sure that it's all looking about even and I've put the same amount of beads on each side. So taking off my bead stopper, Picking up one of my collots. Again, I'm just going through so the tiger tail, where am I? There I am, is going to go through this end here, both ends of that tiger tail. I'm going to position it where I want it. I'm actually going to get another crimp bead out. So I've created that kind of looped shape with it. Then my collot, sorry, my crimp bead is going on both ends of the tag tail, threading it onto both. And I'm just going to give it a little pull. So I want to make sure this bead is sitting quite close up to that collot there. So there's no major gaps. So all I'm doing is just giving it a little pull on either side. If you can see there, if I give that a little pull, that moves that bead up. I'm going to hold on to my beads and my collot and come in with my pliers just to squish down that crimp bead. So your crimp bead will start off round and as you squish it it will become flat and that will hold your tiger tail in place then i'm going to add another one on you get four in your pack so use them make sure that you're making this as sturdy as possible and then i'm crimping that together giving it a little push and that's flatten that one out as well okay all i need to do now is trim off those ends of the tiger tail. Close over my collot with my fingers first. Check it's lined up where about I need it to be. And then close that over gently with my pliers. So I have something that's looking like this. And now I'm just going to bring that together and attach my findings on. Good morning, Chef. We're talking about you. I was saying about your wonderful uh, wire-wrapped gemstone chip trees. Um, 
morning to Joanne. She says, good morning all. Late road trip last night to our rewatch. You can catch us up later, Joanne, no problem. So I'm taking my jump ring. You're getting two jump rings in your pack. They are six millimeter. I'm gonna open it up by holding on to as much of the surface as I can and give it a little twist towards me or away from me. I feel like this is my catchphrase because I say it all the time. I want to twist it away or towards me. I don't want to twist it out that way because I don't want to distort this shape. I want to keep that lovely round shape on my jump ring. I'm going to thread that through the holes in the collot and I'm going to add on my lobster clasp. Your lobster clasp is also included in the kit. It is a 10 millimeter lobster clasp and it will just slide really beautifully, really simply onto that jump ring. And then I'm going to close my jump ring up again. So to do that, I'm just going to turn it. If I've pulled it open towards me, I'm going to go in the opposite direction. So it's going to go away from me. You didn't hear that because I was talking over it, but it's just made the loveliest clicking sound. I usually bring it just past the point. So when I let go, it springs back closed. But that is perfectly closed. You can't even see where that opens. You want to make sure your jump rings are closed properly. And then the same on the other one. This one's already open for me. So I will just show you again. If I was closing it, bring it slightly past the point and it will just spring back closed. So opening that up, adding just the jump ring onto the other side now. I don't need to add another clasp and then closing it over. If you wanted, you could add an extension chain onto this, but because you've got perfectly um, matching sides in terms of the same size and amount of the beads you've used, your necklace, let's move this into shot a bit, is done. It is that straightforward and that easy to do. I am, I think, going to bring it up and put that one on so you can see what we've made today. So this is the one I'm wearing at the moment because I'm kind of wearing like orangey colours. So they are so simple to get off and on. If you want to, you can turn it round so you can see what you're doing. The one I've just made, I'm just going to open up the lobster clasp, hook that back through the jump ring and then position it. like so and each says so pretty and so easy i really quite like the the swap of the colors with these on the other ones i'll show you on my bust um i've done all the same size uh, all the same side as one color i can feel a tickle in my throat beginning so i'm hoping i don't end up having a coffin fit live on totally weird's tutorial um diane says uh would be ideal for a magnetic clasp. You, you can do whatever clasp you want with these. Your lobster clasps are included in your kit. <coughs> and Lucy says, very nice. I like a simple make. You can't get much more simple than these. So this is the one that I have been wearing today. All one colour running on one side from the six to the eight. And then graduating that again with the different colours here. I just thought I'd see what it looked like if I swapped them over. You could do alternate colours on each bead if you wanted. All I've done is made sure that I've got um, 25 of the 6 mil coming down and then I'm graduating that up. So, you can say, you couldn't get any, any simpler if you tried. Heidi says it's lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, as you see, it's not quite 11 o'clock. We've done gorgeous necklace in absolutely no time you will have beads left over too so why not make a lovely pair of earrings for them as well monica says very pretty thank you very much lucy says very summery thank you um i'm gonna go and <coughs> i'm gonna have a drink i'm gonna just chill for a little bit and um cool down because I, I look like a hot mess uh, camille says thank you natalie you need to go rest now lots of honey and lemon have a good weekend everybody uh, lucy says thank you for spending time with us today natalie hope you're feeling better soon i feel all right i'm fine just being with you always makes me feel um 
100 percent you always cheer me up whatever joanne says looks great and super easy they are beautiful thank you so much for joining me today um i hope you've enjoyed our makes i will be back with you on monday i think i'm doing bracelets with you monday i think i'm doing gemstone bracelets with you monday i think it's them anyway and um, they're going to be gorgeous little stack of bracelets lovely little charms i hope it's these that i'm doing they are gorgeous um kitty i think we'll be back with you on the wednesday and i will be back with you friday again and i think i'm going to be doing some wire work with you so have a lovely 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 weekend you too joy and i will see you then so lots of love and light to you all take care